Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. Hello everyone, I'm Steve from Holy Grail Algo. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Strategy Analyzer and run it across uh, your, your automated strategies. Um, now I've got some automated strategies with our Holy Grail Algo automated trading strategy set up in, uh, in my Ninja. I've got some templates made, but I'll show you how to speed things up and run multiples. So the first thing you'll have to do is be connected to your data. Uh, Continuum, Kinetic, uh, which, which, wherever you get your data from, you do have to have a live connection at the time. Second thing you need to do is have the uh, historical data downloaded. Now, I've already got mine downloaded, but if you don't have it or if you want to check what it is, there's market replay data and there's historical data. So for Strategy Analyzer, you'll need historical data. So you just come up here and open this up, and uh, you can see what you got. I'm going to be running this on a time chart on the NQ current contract, the 323. If I uh, click on this and uh, go to last, and uh, you can have tick data, minute data. I'm going to run minute data. You can see I've already got mine downloaded. Uh, February, it'll it'll show you all the days in February. Um, and if you double click on one of these, it'll open it up and it'll show you so you can see that you've got all the data in there. Okay. So um, if you don't have it, you can go to download, select what you want, uh, put the dates in there, and you'll want to check all of these. I want all the data, the tick, minute, day, ask, bid, and last, and uh, um, you can download that, which depending on your internet connection, depending on how long it'll take. So since I've already got my data downloaded, the first thing you want to do is go to New, Strategy Analyzer. This will bring up a window. And uh, I've already got my templates made. I'm going to run this on a one minute chart with an NQ. I've called it my 412, which is a four take profit, 12 stop loss. You can see it loaded it in here. <clears throat> And um, there's a couple things you want to check here, and I'll show you. First of all, to speed this up in Strategy Analyzer, you want to uncheck the show indicator. Uh, unless you really want to bring up a chart while this is going on, you really, um, or even afterwards, you want to uncheck that and it'll speed it up. The next thing you must have is your backfill test or back test fills on lower time frame must also be checked. So. You don't need this for other things, but for Strategy Analyzer, you need to have this on. I'm going to do a limit order, 30 seconds to get in, one contract, a four take profit, 12 stop loss, no trail, no break even. We just want to see what this will do. Uh, there's my sensitivity of seven. I don't have any other uh, filters other than uh, the uh, EMA I've got to 200. The trend line is set at 50. And I've got a time filter in here. Now I'm on central time, so this is going to open or start trading at 15 minutes after the opening. I don't like to trade the very first open because of the volatility. Uh, runs till 11 o'clock, which is 12 o'clock Eastern. Um, then I'm going to take that one hour out for lunch, and I'm not going to trade the last hour of the day. And I typically don't like trading Wednesdays. Um, and then uh, we need to select the NQ323. That'll populate last minute, one minute here, and you need to have this tick replay checked. Um, we're going to run this. Uh, let's run this for the month of February. So I don't care about running all month, but I'm going to run it from 1 to 1 to 228, and I'm going to click run. Okay. Now I'm going to rename this. Just right click on the tab and wipe this out and I'm going to call this well, let's do stop loss let's do a 12 SL for stop loss hit apply and OK you can see it renamed it so let's open it up another one let's go to strategy analyzer put our window here so we can see that template load bring up the very same one now we already know all these are the same but what we're going to do in here is we're going to change the stop loss to an 8. And that's all. We're just going to make the one change so we can see it. So we need, still need to select what we're going to trade, the NQ2, uh, 323 contract. 
and we're going to change our date to the same date that that is, which was February the 1st, and click Run. And then so that we know what we've got here when we're done running this, we're going to change the name of this, change this to an 8 stop loss, click OK. And then we're going to, let's open up a third one. And load our strategy. And there we go. These are already pre-checked because I had them saved in the uh, memory. And we're going to do a 15 stop loss on this one. And select what we're going to trade on the NQ323. And let's go to February the 1st. Click Run. Right click. Rename this to 15 SL for our stop loss. SL. Click OK or apply OK. And put this in order here so you can see these are the three we got running. Let's do a fourth one. Strategy Analyzer. This will save you a lot of time by opening up these windows. Now, Strategy Analyzer is not perfect. Um, it does not, uh, it's not going to be a perfect, so it's, it's not quite as accurate as the market replay, but this will get you close. Load. Same strategy. And it's amazing what you can do with this. So let's do a 10 stop loss because we've got 12, 8, 15, and, uh, let's do a 10 stop loss and click, uh, trade is the NQ323. Change the date to February the 1st. Click Run. Right click, rename this to 10 Stop Loss. Okay. Now if you want to see what this looks like, you can right click on any one of these and click Ninja, Ninja Script Output and uh, Put these back where we can see them as they uh, as they complete themselves. Now, once this gets going, you'll start seeing data pop up in here, and there's the first one. You can see we're on February the second, and there's our profit. We're at one hundred and seventy dollars, two seventy five, and this will keep going. So you can see uh, when we're done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this to let this complete because this will probably take about uh, thirty to forty five minutes, depending on your computer, and uh, we'll look at the output. Okay, so now the results are in. I've uh, moved my windows around here a little bit. You can see the progress that it made. And uh, so what we have here is the results of our test. Let me sort this so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, so you can see here we made $180. We had a uh, $1,100 drawdown and only a 71% trade performance. Here we've had a $960 win, uh, 53 trades, 83% performance, and a $960 drawdown. Here we only made $60 on the eight point stop with um, $880 drawdown, just a little bit less than this, uh, but the trade percentage, uh, the trade performance really dropped off. And finally, here's what we got here, um, 535. So obviously the best setting that we had here was a 15 point stop. And uh, so this is what we like. So what we can do in the next test is run the same test again, put all of these at a 15 point stop, and maybe let's change the take profit to a three, um, a four, a five, and a, of course we know what a four is, but we can change it to a five and a six. Uh, just to see what happens here and you can keep changing these now this is one way to do this it's more of a manual way to do it there is another way to run strategy analyzer with optimization and uh, now this takes a little longer to do but what you can do is instead of a back test click on optimization now uh, we've already got our template let's go ahead and load our template again 
which I think it's already preloaded in there. But uh, now that we did whoop, optimization on this, and uh, so and here's where we can go in and set different parameters. Um, I would suggest not doing too many of these at once. I uh, made three changes or four changes here last week, and it was going to take 24 hours to run this. So you could go in with a profit target, and you can say minimum is, say, two, and the maximum is, say, eight. And in this next field, we have an increment of one. So what this is going to do is going to test two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight all together. And at the end, it's going to give us the four best outputs of what the uh, the best uh, the best results are. Um, now this will probably take several hours to run uh, because these tests that I just ran here for the month of February took uh, about 20 to 25 minutes with my computer. Faster computer might run a little bit faster. Um, but these are different things that you can do to to optimize that. So I just want to give you a heads up how to do that and uh, how to name these and uh, find the best automation strategies for yourself to uh, make some trades and you can try this on different uh, different things to trade if you like to trade the RTY or the, the ES or whatever you can set these scenarios up in there and just see what will give you the best performance. Uh, thanks everyone and have a uh, happy trading. Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content.